There was a mindset that emerged around the 1890s that once the North and the South Pole were reached, all places in this world were found and there was nothing yet to be discovered. When that occurred, there was a perfect storm. In that same era, we had the sense that everything had been discovered. The Industrial Revolution was coming to its full ascendancy. We could now make almost anything that we needed. And we could do it fast, and we could do it cheap. We had the ability to create for the masses. We did not need new things. We now needed to manage instead of explore. We needed to manage because we now had very large organizations. And what I saw when this sense that everything geographically had been discovered and then the full ascendancy of the industrial age, we very much moved from the world of what if to the world of this is the way it is. We moved from the world of exploration where we knew there were things that we didn't know to a world of management where we manage the way the things are. Now those of you who study management, I'm not against management. I think management is very necessary. But what we often forget is that prior to the world of management, there was a world of exploration. And in that world, we were open to the possibilities. I don't have a lot of time to go into it today, but I also would like to make the case that in this era with the ascension of the modern age, we also believe that God was not as important, and I'm saying this in civilization at large, God was not as important because with science and all the tools that we had and all that we had discovered, in a sense, what we had done is we had put God into the unknown areas of life. And then once those areas became known, there was no room for God. Actually, really bad theology and really bad understanding because we missed the fact that God gave it all of that to us as a gift. A reality of the, the, the Pentecostal movement is the focus on the Holy Spirit. I, I don't need to say that in this room. There is always a sense and an openness to the fact that God may be doing something afresh. Today, as we explore what God is doing through our work, we have the opportunity to find. Dare I say, we have the opportunity to explore the possibilities that are new. I believe that it is likely that the Pentecostal movement may bring insight into this conversation on work and faith, that the Reformed thinkers, excuse me, Stephen, the Reformed thinkers, while good and excellent, they have missed because they tend to think about propositions and they miss what the Spirit wants to do today that may be different than what was done yesterday. In a sense, Pentecostals are openings, are open to happenings that do not have precedent. To learn more about the Oikonomia Network, check out oikonomianetwork.org.